Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks video. In this video we are back with part 2 of the build challenge final. Now earlier this week we released part 1 where we looked at the first 5 of the top 10 most voted for creations for this challenge. So in this video we are looking at the second half of those top 10 most voted for and we'll also be announcing a winner of this challenge. So that's it, let's get straight into it and get started with the first creation. So the first creation we're looking at in this part is going to be the IJN Kande class transport. Uh, really cool, kind of like a Japanese style looking vessel. Apparently it's also got a little bit of Chinese background to it too. Um, but yeah, I like it. Very just clean and simple design to it. Nice rounded hull, as you can see there, really nice in the back. So let's go and jump on this and see how it's gonna work. So what do we have on it? So let's start at the front. So we're going to start at the front here. We've got, looks like just some winch systems, which are for just some rigging. A AA gun, which it would be. Looks like we've got the cargo bay. Okay, so this is where your coal would come in. Okay, nice. Seems like we've also got these pieces here. What do these do? So I think these rotate out, so they're like little cranes. So if you stand here, you can do extend. Okay, so you have like little cranes that you can use on the side of the vessel. Interesting. It's rocking quite a bit though. I'm guessing it doesn't have any coal inside it. Maybe well, it does have coal. Okay, interesting. It does have coal in it. Apparently this thing can carry 3,100 worth of coal. So a little bit on the lower side compared to some of the other vehicles that we have had a look at. Uh, we've also got, looks like, storage area inside here. Okay, so just some equipment and things. Uh, we've got a staircase. Okay, so up and down. We've got a hallway, crew cabin. Okay, let's go down and let's see what we have down at the bottom. So, boiler room and a staircase. Where does this go? Medical bay inside here. Okay, so this has got quite a lot of areas. And then obviously you can see here's all the coal stuff. Yeah, very nice. It's got a lot of areas into it. Uh, turbine room, boiler room. Okay, so we've got our boilers here. We've got storage, storage. We've got lights, and we've got to extinguish the fire. Now, I think we can control the whole system from up in the bridge. And then we've got the turbines. It's nice that you can come around and access all of these things, which is really nice. Performance seems very smooth also. I like the lights turning on and off for us automatically. We don't have to really do anything. Uh, and we've got another ladder that goes up to the bridge. Okay, so we even have a staircase here, and where is this radio center? Okay, it's got a little radio area in here. This has got a camera in it. Oh, it's actually got a gimbal. Is that a gimbal camera of some sort? Oh, no, it's just a camera at the top there on some pivots and things. Okay, a little radar, a little radio, night vision. Nice, I like it. Okay, let's go into the helmsman seat. So we got nav lights, exterior lights, spotlights, exterior, nav ignition i'm gonna obviously wait a while for that to turn on i like the screens we've got throttle here we've got our fuel so 240 kgs we've got battery we've got our speed there we've got our temperature that's an interesting way of doing it i've never seen that one done before like that quite nice we've got what do we have so a little map screen over there and then we got sticky okay what else do we have? That's pretty much about it. Spotlights, of course. You can hear that turbine now. It's 180 degrees. Cool, I guess we can go forward. So one is sticky throttle, two is differential thrust. Interesting. Uh, and then gear up and gear down and throttle. So gear up is up. So, okay, so gear one, two, three. There, no reverse. Okay, just says one, two, three. So can we go forwards a little bit? I can. Oh wow, it's got a lot of power behind it. Okay, cool. A lot of lights too. Uh, let's get it in place here because we're going to put some coal inside it. Let's see how that actually works. Now I'm a little bit worried about the mast there getting in the way, but I think we'll be fine. It's got a lot, very sensitive in throttle. About there, it's going to drift a little bit, but I think we'll be fine. Let's maybe back it up. Up a little bit. Yeah, that should be alright. Okay, let's go and load some coal and see how well that does. 
so from the seat we can then drop this down i think a little bit don't want it to hit the mast there and open funnel yeah so that works perfectly you can see that great very good job on that one i think it's full now that's why it's not getting any more coolness uh cool let's stop that uh let's go down and let's close the funnel over here and the storage so very clean very simple i like it i think it's bugging out because of the coal um but yeah really nice let's see how well it does for top speed it seems to be rocking quite a bit um i think it's all right let's go forward so we're going to do full i'm actually going to stick it to sticky throttle let's go full forwards oh just seems to fit there but it's fine we don't have damage on so it's okay i like the design of the hull though okay so now we got sticky on uh we can do gear up and gear up again whoa okay so 30 knots we got to there differential thrust i wonder what that does So apparently differential thrust is for precise maneuvering. Okay. But um, yeah, th that's a good speed. 30, 27 knots. That is a very good speed. I like the boat. It's very clean. It's very simple. I like it. Very, very cool. Even got a little lifeboat at the back. Those look like they actually are working. Yeah, you can see there they've got things on them. Very cool. I like it's incorporated the whole coal plus also military theme into it. Very nice. So a lovely creation to start this uh, part off with. Let's move on to the next one. And moving on to the next creation, we have the chug. This is a pusher tug and barge combo. Now we did have a look at this earlier in the week in the top five. It did really well. I want to see how well it does with this challenge. Now this can store, I think the most out of all the other creations that we've seen, 22,000 worth of coal. I think it's the most so far. So quite a lot of coal inside it. Um, so yeah, I'm very interested to see how this one's gonna do. So we have the barge over here and you can see there's actually a digital area or digital number here, which is telling us how much coal we have inside there. We've also got these funnels. So this would be for like offloading. You can connect something on here and you can offload it. So that is nice, I like it. We've just got these winches all the way through so we can connect it up to the dock if we needed to. Uh, and then we have the main tug. So on the tug there is these points at the front which connect to the front or the back of the barge for you to actually maneuver it, uh, which is quite nice. We've also got, I think, some equipments in here. So yeah, lockers with equipments inside there if we need it. Uh, we can walk around. We've also got a crew cabin in here. It's just a very simple crew cabin with some beds and things. Uh, and then that's pretty much about it. There is a hopper for us. So if we need some fuel, of course, or some coal, uh, and then we have the bridge. So let's jump in the bridge here. So we've got crew and helm. We've got steam injection, steam recirculation. So this is for cheating, kind of. Uh, we've got rear spot lights, front spot lights, flare, nav lights, on off systems, radio, latitude, longitude, autopilot system. Nice. Not here. We got nav system if we want it. Nice. We got radar, EBL, map. Okay. And then we can go back. We got engines also. So you can see the temperatures going up already on all of that. Nice. And then we've also got systems, which has got coal and battery. Okay. So I think we need to wait until this gets to about three bar plus minus. Uh, so we're going to wait for it to build up there. Don't actually think steam works and steel and coal works in bar and storm works, but okay, we can use bar as a reading for this. Okay, so we are up to about eight bar now, so we should be able to move forwards. So let's just go. Yeah, so I remember this one. This one's got water jets, which makes it like super, super nimble. Actually got a lot of speed behind it. Like, look how quick this is. <laughs> it's so quick. Uh, okay, we're gonna try and get the front connected. Uh, so we should just be able to line up here and then one is to toggle the front connectors. So we should be able just to go and press one here in a few seconds. And that's on off. Whoops. So two. And there we go. We are now connected. It says enjoy there. Now let's go back. 
just like that we're going backwards fantastic uh we can get it lined up over here now so let's go and start angling this that's so well maneuvering actually stop it over here and the cool thing is that because these are all connected to each other uh they actually share their storage so you don't actually have to put the coal in every single one of the hoppers you can pretty much just do one and um it will go into all of them and you can see it's currently loading up and we should be able to have a look at the reading here and you can see it tells you how much coal you've got inside it which is quite nice so yeah another really cool creation okay let's go and turn this off and let's see speed wise how this is going to handle so we're going to close the funnel let's go back into the tug so now that we're back in here we can bring ourselves into reverse swivel ourselves around and then see how well we can do don't think the throttle is sticky though but i'm guessing if you were to use the navigation system possibly it does the throttle for you Yeah, it looks like it's doing the throttle for us. Could be wrong there. Yeah, I think it's doing the throttle for us. Yeah, it is. Okay, so we're getting about, what, 8 knots, 10 knots, 12 knots, 13. 13 knots by ourselves, and then we put it into autopilot. It goes down a little bit. Maybe we're a little bit too close to it. Um, But, yeah, another really, really cool creation. I love how simple and easy it is to use really really quite nice and then i said you can also use these for offloading which is another nice little area there to do also cool let's go ahead let's move on to the next one and moving on to the next creation we have a high sp speed coal powered coal and aircraft carrier that's a mouthful but okay so it's like a little bit of an aircraft carrier in using coal okay very interesting though, there's a whole bunch of vehicles on here. It looks like kind of little mini helicopters and then it looks like we got some land vehicles in there also. Uh, we won't be checking those out because once again, that's not part of the challenge to build those things. It's more about transporting coal. Uh, what do we have around here? So we've got disabled helicopter connectors. Seems like the engine's already up and running. Uh, we've got an elevator system. It's quite nice. Now I want to be quite interested to see where the coal goes in. So it looks like we've got some more docking areas. And here we've got coal observations. Okay, so we've got coal here. So there must be a hatch, hatch up there on the deck. Coal observations once again. Quarters for crew. Quarters for crew. We've got engine and fuel down here. So we'll head down into this area. Okay, so in a little engine room. A whole bunch of coal. Pretty straightforward and inside here. Let's go along. We've got electrical room in here. So just all your mic controllers and things that you would need. Okay, so very useful once again if you need to do any repair work. Um, if you're using this in like career mode or anything. Uh, let's try and go up here without falling down. Now we did get a performance warning. So we're going to keep an eye on performance. I'm guessing it's just because of all the little creations that we have on top. I could be wrong. But uh we did get a little performance warning, so we just need to keep an eye on that. So this must be where the coal comes in. Yeah, so that's so uh, that will be where the coal comes in. Okay. We've also got a bridge. So we can go up here. We can also go back down to where we were earlier on. We've got lights for the bridge. And then we go up to the main like control area. We've got flight deck commander, which has just got some docking stations and things. Uh, we've got a secondary systems officer, which looks like it's got a radar and a water cannon. Water cannon, yep. Yeah. And then the pilot, which has got a map screen, um, deck lights, flares, super cruise throttle, hitting, currents, ordered, stabilized, seconds, coal, okay. Uh, we've got main breaker. And pretty much everything else, so pretty straightforward. Uh, five bucks toggle on off, it's already on by default. Super cruise, spotlight, launch fair, coal loading door, so you can actually open and close it. And you can also unload coal. All right, cool. Let's see if we can bow thrusters. Okay, so A and D. Oh, that's cool. I like the idea of that. Oh, and he's actually got magnets, so you don't move. That's the first one I think we've seen that has magnets on it. Um, 
let's go and just close that so we can move it along here a little bit. So we're going to strafe to the right, go forwards, and then we're going to try and get in position for this one. I like the strafing, makes it much easier here in port. Let's slow down. Okay, we have to go in reverse a bit there. But he's using a water jet, so it's pretty should be pretty easy. Let's go forwards again, and then go left again, and then we should be able to do it now. Okay, so we're kind of in position, kind of being the key word there. I think we might need to disconnect and just go ever so slightly back. I am worried though, slightly. We're a little bit too close to the dock, but I guess we'll soon find out. Let's do, there we go. Okay, so let's try that now. Let's see if that is going to be possible. So we're using the magnets to connect ourselves. Uh, let's do that and let's go and see. So you can see it's going over a bit. That's fine. We should be able to put this up. Turn off for now. If we put it way up and then on, it should go into its... Yep, you can see there it is going inside now. So it just needed to be angled a little bit up and then that's pretty much good. I guess we could angle a little bit more up if we wanted to. So let's just go here. Let's go back inside. Let's can this go up more? No, this is maximum. Okay. I guess you don't really have to toggle it against the dock there. But it is a nice feature to do that. Cool. Does that well. Uh, let's go and turn that off and let's see how well this thing can actually drive. Now apparently it's meant to be high speed. So I'm going to be very interested to see how that works. Uh, so back in the bridge, let's go and do the magnet off. Let's use the strafing mode to bring ourselves away from the dock. So that's really good. And then forwards. So full throttle forwards now. Okay, so not yet quick, but that's okay. Uh, let's go and do super cruise mode, which is two apparently. Oh. Okay, so it becomes like a hydrofoil water jet <laughs> carrier <laughs> that can do to coal. I think, I think this one's going the quickest we've seen any of them go. Yeah, I think it's about the quickest. And this is carrying about 5,300s worth of, of coal. So quite a bit, to be honest. Not the most. We've obviously seen other creations with more. Seems like it is going a little bit left and right every now and then. Because we did head out straight from there. Oh no, we're, looks like it's okay. Yeah, you can see it's kind of turning. But it's keeping itself straight again after a while. Um, But yeah, I like the... I think it's a cool creation. Definitely unique and definitely I wasn't expecting like a carrier of of sorts on here. But um, hey, it works and it does a good job. So yeah, another lovely creation. Let's move on to the next one for the episode. And moving on to the next one, we have the PS Maelstrom. Now, this is another one we've checked out in the top five already. Uh, really, really cool. I'm very interested to see how this one's gonna do for the challenge though. Now, this is like a paddle steamer and a very good looking one at the same time. You can see here, we've got the big stacks at the back. Um, let's go and have a little quick walk around it. So I remember this one has got a crane, so you can actually do offloading if you want to. And we've got the big paddle wheels over here, and then we have the bridges, which is up there. Uh, detailing is spot on this one, really, really is. It's super clean, and I really like it. Um, so in here, we've got a little bit of a storage area, also a staircase that goes up. Uh, you can walk across this, and this whole area is going to be where you can drop your colon. Very cool. Very, very nice. Uh, at the back here, looks like we've got this is our engine coal, and then this is the controls for this crane, so you can do offloading and stuff, which is quite nice. Uh, and then at the back, if I'm correct, without trying to, hopefully not coming off here. Uh, at the back, though, we do have an area, if I'm correct, there was an area to go down, wasn't there? Let's have a little bit of a walk around. Let's see. Yes, there was a engine room. I knew there was something around here. Uh, so we can come down into this area, which is the engine room, and a very nicely detailed one at that. Uh, let's get the lights on. There we go. So yeah, nicely detailed. We've got a little steam a coal hopper. We got the firebox there. We got the key button. 
So you, I think we need to go up to the bridge first before we do anything over here. Um, but yeah, really nice. Nicely detailed. You can access, looks like you can access most things. Uh, it seems like there is some XML stuff here because we've kind of floating in the air. So I'm going to have to 3D home us. I never recommend putting any XML stuff on the floor because that way you can really fall through it. Um, but that's okay. We managed to get out of there. Uh, let's carry on going. And we're going to get up to the bridge now. So we can walk along here. We've got a door that goes into the seating area. It's really nice. And then we can go up into the bridge. Cool. Bridge has got some lights on it. And we need to do a few things. So we've got position lights. We've got walkway lights if we need it. Start engine systems. Cool. So that should be going up now. Let's check it out. So, yep. Temperature is going. Pretty cool. And now we need to just wait until pretty much we have enough boiler pressure and then we should be able to go. Um, cool. I like it. Uh, we need to move along before we can actually offload any coal though. So we're going to wait for everything. I don't think it will take too long. I like the crane. That's pretty nice. Once again, it wasn't part of the challenge to have a crane, so I'm not really going to check it out too much. Uh, how well is this one going to drive though? So pressure is still building. Once it gets up to 100, then we can move off. All right, so we should have enough pressure to get moving. So we can go in the helm here. Uh, we have throttle, WNS, steering, uh, reverse, and we also got horn. So let's see if we can go forwards. So we're going to use W. Should be able to go forwards. Now, if I'm correct, there's a propeller at the back somewhere. Or water jets or something hidden in the creation. Uh, we just need to make sure we don't hit all these tires. Also, don't hit the boom there. Yep, we just cleared it. Okay, I'm gonna start slowing ourselves down a bit. Trying to get a little bit closer to the dock there. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good actually. I think I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, cool, so now let's go up into here. We're going to lower the boom for the coal. And uh, let's see if we can offload some of this. Cool, so is that working? Should be. Yeah, there we go. It's kind of like bouncing off there and going into it but it's definitely working nice very nice i like it let's go and see how well this one is going to do in the sea so we're going to stop there uh how much can this thing carry so this can carry fifteen thousands worth of coal which is quite a bit i would say that's probably about a mid-range to higher end uh worth of coal we can also get our throttle up now so we can head off. Do I need that. Yes, so that's like a, yeah, that's our throttle. So that's cool. So full speed ahead. Very cool. Look at that. We've got one anchor there on that side. Man, that's really nice. So yeah, I can carry quite a bit of fuel or coal. But yeah, lovely creation. I really like this one. I love the shape of the hull too. You can see it's uh, look how shallow it is. Creator must be using some something to make sure that that sits that high in the water. But he's done a cr fantastic job, really, really fantastic job with this. I think we can all agree with it. Great. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's move on to the last one here. And moving on to the last creation of this part is going to be the SS Loyal Career. Uh, now we did check this one also out in a top five earlier in the week and it's another lovely creation. So let's go and jump on it. I love the shape of the hull. I think the hull design is pretty cool. It's got this big cargo area from correct, which is over here. So we got aft and front. So you can see you can put coal in either one of those. So we'll keep it open for now because we are going to be loading coal. We have a little bit of a ladder system with our anchors, if I'm correct. All castle, which has got two crew cabins in here. Some lights, really beautifully detailed though inside here too. And we've even got a little bit of a washroom. Nice. Uh, let's go and close this. Or no, not that one. Close this one. Close this one. We got heaters in there and the cabins too. So didn't forget anything really in terms of detailing. Uh, I like it. Kind of thought of everything. We've got some rope in here for docking ourselves against or mooring ourselves against here. 
Uh, around the back, not much. We do have welding torches for repairing, which is a useful thing. Uh, and then we got some doors to go in. So let's go into the first set of doors. Kind of have to jump over this area. Uh, and we've got a captain's cabin. Lights in here, please. Uh, so a little captain's cabin. Nice, lovely detailed once again. Uh, we've got a little crew area for sitting. We've got another little like kitchen area. We've got the engine room, which we'll check out now. So might as well go down there. Uh, we've got our oh, turbines. We have lights, firebox, air valve. I think we need to get we need to get some things up in the bridge before we do all that. So we'll wait. Uh, we also can ignite the firebox from in here, and looks like we can also do repairing, which is very nice. Okay, let's go up because uh, I know we need to do stuff on the bridge before we can get everything going. I keep on falling here. There we go. Another washroom in there. We can close that. Go up. So it's actually a hatch which goes up here where we have our funnel. We have some which would be I think life rafts in theory. We can go to the roof if we need to. I think it's got some flares on there too. Uh, and we've got the bridge. And inside the bridge we've got a bunch of things. Heater, lights. We've got all of our pumps and things. Navigation, deck lights and things. Very cool. Uh, now we need to head back down into the engine room. So we'll do that now. But down here. Maybe I would have liked to see this door facing that way. So we could go up and down the staircase. That's just a little thing. And now we can get the air valve open. And we can enable the firebox on. We can correct. Yep. So you can see the temperatures are going up. And then pressure will slowly start to build after that. Okay, let's go and turn that light off. Let's go up to the top. Let's get that closed. Let's go up here. And we're going to close that and then go up into the bridge. Okay, so now that we're in the bridge, we just need to wait for the pressure. Now we do have access to our boiler pressure just over here, so we can keep an eye on that. We also got foghorn, reverse, uh, steam valve, and steering. We've got a heading hold system, which is quite nice. So we can keep, I think, yeah, a little heading hold. I might have, he might have added this since we looked at it in the top five. Uh, we've got the throttle, which is just above us. Okay, cool. So we'll wait for all that to build up, and then hopefully we can put some coal inside and see how that's going to work. Now, this is carrying 2,700 units of coal. So this is on the lower end of what we've seen, obviously, during the videos. Uh, so we do need to take that into account. However, what's the speed on this one? I'm not too sure what the speed is. So we'll see what the speed is. Um, and hopefully it's pretty decent speed. Okay, what is our pressure? Okay, body pressure is good. Um, looks like he's got like kind of a release valve system there because you can see it's dropping its pressure, which is cool. Uh, let's go forwards. So WNS. Yeah, I think it's the front there. There we go. Now you can see it kind of pushed itself off, which is fine. Cool. And then we can start slowing ourselves down. Even put ourselves into reverse if we really need to. Yep. And that looks almost perfect. Okay. So we're nice in line there. Let's go and jump up there and see if we can get some coal in. Put some coal in. Let's go and have a look. Yeah, so spot on. Manages to go through. We obviously have a front and rear compartment there. Uh, I don't know if there's anything to read out how much coal is in each one of those. Though, is there anything in here for coal storage? Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so we've got an option here to read how much coal we have in both of them, which is very useful. So yeah, it does a great job loading colon seems like some pieces got stuck in the middle there that's okay not that much and once you start moving the boat i think it would go down so yeah very good in terms of loading coal let's go and uh stop the coal and then we'll move off and see how well it does so we should be good to just jump back into the bridge actually let's go and close the cargo so we're going to close them like this Cool, so they're going to close very nicely. Uh, we can go back up into the top and let's go and go forwards, I guess. So full throttle forwards. You can really hear those turbines going wow. So we've got a good speed actually. Very nice speed. 
seems like the boat is turning ever so slightly. That's okay. But we've also got a heading hold now, which is very useful. Very, very useful to have one of those. But I like the, the styling is really nice. Very clean, very simple, uh, and very nice and rounded. I like how rounded it is. Done a great job with that. You can see it just rocks every now and then. Don't know what that's all about. I guess more realistic, I guess, in theory. But yeah, another lovely, lovely creation. Cool. Okay, so guys, now it's time for us to uh, have a look at all the creations and then f announce a final winner of this build challenge. All right, so it's now that time to announce a winner of the challenge. Now we've got all the boats lined up and all the ships lined up here. Obviously, we do have office six quality quite low for this now to get all the boats loaded, in, but we're managing quite well. Uh, now we've had some really, really cool creations for this challenge. Everything from our super classic paddle steamer to funky steampunk and very out the box like carriers and these round ships to even a little tug and a barge. I wasn't expecting to see a barge for this challenge, so that's really cool to see. Uh, to all of our classic, you know, classic ships that we would normally see in real life. So we had some really, really cool ones. Now, of course, as I said at the beginning of this challenge, is we're going to be voting on a couple different things. Ease of use was one of them. I think every single creation here managed to get the ease of use down. Um, none of them had long starting up procedures, and they were pretty straightforward to follow. Um, maneuverability in terms of once again, ease of use and using it. Um, only a few of them had like side strafing modes. I think this one had the side strafing, whereas this one had a rotating mode. Uh, the tug was also able to do it. I think most of them that used water jets did a really good job. And a few of the other them added some propellers and things uh, for doing it. And I think, I think there was also one that was able to turn on the spot using different propellers. That was another really cool one. I can't remember which one it was. So bear with me on that one. But yeah, there's some really good, I think, I think it was might, might have been this one. There's some really cool designs there. Uh, we also need to take into account how much coal they can carry, of course. Uh, that's also part of the challenge. So we did say that we're giving extra points for the more coal that you could carry. So most of them did carry quite a lot. Uh, I think we got everywhere from about 2,000 all the way up to about 20 or 30,000 worth of coal, which is quite a lot. Obviously, I can't just vote on that. Um, otherwise, everyone would just made the biggest coal carrying thing they could have done. But uh, yeah, we had some really cool ones, really, really cool creations. I think standouts for me, you know, the Great Lakes one was a really cool design. I love the front section of that. Um, these classic designs here, really, really quite nice. Uh, under this old Japanese, Chinese style carriers, really, I really like that. Uh, the tug was cool. The <laughs> aircraft carrier slash carrier. Wasn't expecting to see a carrier in this build challenge. Um, so yeah, I could do on that. This thing also, wasn't expecting to see something like this, but great design. Uh, I love the way to offload, although that wasn't part of the challenge. Uh, and the steampunk, we've never seen something like this uh, here in Stormwick. So good job with that one. And then of course the panel steamer, like can't go wrong with that. The detailing is spot on and it's clean, it's simple. It's not over the top. Uh, and performance wise, most of them did, well, actually all of them did a bomb performance. Um, and there's only a few that we got a few warnings here and there for that, but it didn't cut down performance at all, I don't think. Now, if I was to narrow it down to two, I think you guys probably know which one I would choose um, for the top two. Uh, but I'd love to hear what you guys would vote for. Which one would you vote to say is the best one out of this whole, this whole series? I'd love to hear your comments. So... Narrowing it down to two, definitely the paddle steamer, I think, and the loyal career, I think. Yes, I would have to bring it down to those two. They both are exceptionally built, I think. Really, really good job on them. Um, and I think the only thing that kind of doesn't bring a tie is the amount of coal they can carry. The SS Courier, I think, can carry around 2,700 units, whereas the Paddle Steamer, I think, is around 15,000. I could be wrong. So I'm going to have to give it to the Paddle Steamer for this. It, it, just because it can carry a little bit more coal. Everything else is so close with this challenge, and these creations are absolutely incredible. I'm just going to have to give it to the one that carries a little bit more coal. Um, so congratulations to the winner of building this paddle steamer. It's absolutely gorgeous. I think you've done a great job with that, but all the creations really are, to be honest. I think everyone deserves a great well done to each one of you guys. 
or submitting and building these creations in two weeks. Absolutely incredible. Um, so guys, that's going to be the end of this build challenge. I hope you have enjoyed it, whether you've taken part of it or just been observing and viewing it. Uh, thank you everyone, obviously, for keeping an eye on it and following along with the build series. It's been a lot of fun, of course, judging and looking at these amazing creations. As always, if you want to check out any of the creations that we checked out in this video, I will leave them linked in the video description. Otherwise, jump back to part one and you can check out those five. Uh, there will be another challenge coming very soon. Uh, this one is going to be themed towards weapons DLC that we hopefully will be getting in a, in a month, two months, three months, four months time. Uh, so we've got a little bit of a challenge revolving around that. So military vehicle, uh, which I think will be quite fun. I won't tell you guys exactly what it is just yet. So you're going to have to keep an eye on the channel for that one. But if you haven't already, make sure you do uh, join this Discord server. Obviously, we announce all the challenges there. We do all the rules. We do all the posting, submissions, voting, everything on the Discord channel. I do leave it linked in the video description. So, guys, that's the end of this video and the challenge series. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to miss any of my future content, make sure you click the little bell icon. Until the next challenge series, we will see you then.